Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of the Military Social Work Network. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by subscribing to the channel, and by sharing this video with your social work colleagues and friends. The purpose of this channel is to create a community of hope and support where military and aspiring military social workers can come for relevant news, information, and inspiration. Well, welcome back. We are continuing our series on Black History Month military leaders. And today we will be discussing the life and the service of the first African American to become a four-star general in the United States Army. We will be talking about Roscoe Robinson Jr. Roscoe Robinson Jr. was born in October 11th, 1928, and he lived until July 22nd, 1993. Again, he was the first African American to become a four-star general in the United States Army. He was born in St. Louis, Missouri. He attended, he attended St. Louis University for only a year and then transferred to the United States Military Academy at West Point in 1947. He graduated with a degree in military engineering in 1951. He received the Distinguished Service Medal, the Legion of Merit, and the Distinguished Flying Cross. So let's discuss his career. So after graduating, Robinson served in the Korean War in 1952 as a platoon leader and rifle company commander. For his actions, he received the Bronze Star. Sent back to the United States a year later, he became an instructor in the Airborne Department of the United States Army Infantry School. He then went on to graduate from Command and General Staff College at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas in 1963. The following year, he received his master's degree from the University of Pittsburgh in International Affairs. In 1967, he served as battalion commander in Vietnam. For his achievements there, he received the Legion of Merit, the Distinguished Flying Cross, 11 Air Medals, and two Silver, silver Stars. After Vietnam, he served at the National War College for three years as the Executive Officer to the Chief of Staff. He was promoted to Brigadier General in 1975, becoming Commanding General of the United States Army Garrison in Okinawa. In 1976, he was promoted to Major General and assigned to command the 82nd Airborne Division at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. General Robinson was the first African American to command the 82nd Airborne Division. Wow. His final assignment was as a U.S. military representative to the NATO Military Committee from 1982 to 1985. After he had completed 34 years of service to the U.S. military, he retired in 1985. He was then awarded with the Defense Distinguished Service Medal and a second Distinguished Service Medal. Wow, I am, I am very impressed that he became the first African American to command the 82nd Airborne Division. Um, 82nd Airborne Division is it's an elite military unit in the U.S. Army. Um, so that is very, very impressive. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Again, um, the reason that I decided to create this Black History Month Military Leaders Series is, again, to inspire us all. You know, um, if these if if these men could rise to the highest levels, despite segregation, despite racism, um, despite Jim Crow, I, I think there's a story there for all of us. There's a story of determination, perseverance. You know, so um, that's what I want to leave you guys with. Um, let's keep pushing forward. Um, we, we all still have a lot of challenges, but if we can look back at the lives of these men and just imagine, imagine all of the barriers and all of the racism, um, and yet they persisted, they persevered, 
they rose to the challenge. Um, I think that's I think that's the lesson for all of us. You know, despite the challenges that are in front of us, we can still persevere. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. For all the social workers out there, thank you for the work that you, you're doing for your clients every day. Thank you for the work you're doing for your agency. And thank you for the work that you do for your profession. Please continue to support each other and yourselves. Bye for now.